Hello Aries, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you're well and uh, Aries if you're new here my name is Joe and I'll be doing a reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements okay as usual please do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general so just take whatever resonates leave the rest behind best time for you to watch or listen to our readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention that's why they're timeless and that's usually how it always always works you feel free to browse my channel you might want to check some of the previous readings i've done for your sign but more than anything do you check what other signs you have your other placements mostly moon rising and venus and then you can go ahead and check out some of the readings i've done specifically for those signs mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you at this current moment of your life sometimes it happens and it usually means that your messages are just simply coming stronger from those placements it all depends on your current life path and journey and uh, last but not least please do subscribe hit the like button leave a comment i would truly appreciate it very much it's always the best way to support the channel and help it grow and thank you to all of you who have already liked commented subscribed and for your kind donations I truly appreciate all of your support. Thank you very, very much. All right, Aries. Okay. All right, Aries. Aries, you've got the Five of Cups as a starting energy if you're reading or the current energy that you're dealing with or the heart of the matter. And well, this card usually talks about, you know, you always just, I always want to say reminiscing, but reminiscing is always, you know, when you're just focused, well, yeah, probably you're just focusing on the past and the good things, you know, what has been lost. But uh, I was going to say that you're always reminiscing in the past, but maybe you're just also, maybe, you know, it doesn't have to be something good in the past. So, you know, reminiscing would not be the right word. Uh, maybe you just take this bittersweet, or just very bitter memories from the past, how everything went wrong, how everything, you know, I don't know. It's, uh, you just you you you're meant to step out of this energy. It's a very dark, very lonely, very. I don't think this energy is letting you. Um, not just not letting you move forward, but it's not even letting you. Um, do what you're meant to do. Focus, you know. Um, be more productive. Uh, you're just focusing on the past and you're not focusing on the present i think uh you're just trapped in, in some something that 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 you're meant to let go of now you know you're, you're meant to move forward from this um constant thinking on, on the on the past uh, what has been lost what didn't work out there's new opportunities for you and you're not really seeing them it's it seems that and this is why i said you know you're meant to be more productive maybe you're meant to be focusing your energy on something more um promising okay but it's 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 this uh you just being stuck in this that uh, it's not letting you move forward and do what you're probably meant to do by now, you know. <laughs> Energy that's, I'm sorry about that, but uh, crossing you, challenging is, I mean, really, we've got a lot of pain, a lot of heartache. Um, I think some of you, it's that proper healing. You really haven't gone through the healing process the way you should have. Um, it's not an easy thing to do, but uh, I think you have to be true to yourself here. It's about accepting, accepting and forgiving, making peace with the past and understanding that maybe something wasn't meant for you. Um, what, whatever didn't work out for you, it was meant pro to probably just make you stronger, wiser, okay, to gain a lot more experience. But yeah, this this heartache is not it's not letting you flourish the way you you, you should. Um, you, you are really stuck in the past here, and there is a lot of heartache. Oh, 
Crowning your conscious mind, you've got the Ten of Cups, and that's understandable. You know, you have this really strong desire of wanting to be in this state of happiness, maybe even with someone, you know. Um, maybe some of you understand the situation that you're in, and you're just having a really hard time getting yourselves out of it, you know. You know that you have to get out of the situation where you're just focusing on the negative side of things. And you're constantly thinking about, well, I know I have to raise my vibration. I know I have to be in this energy, you know. I wish I could see the, 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 the light at the end of the tunnel, the, the rainbow after the storm. You really are hoping for that. Ten of Cups, everybody wants a Ten of Cups. But the secret is, Aries, that you cannot reach that Ten of Cups if you're not in the nine of cup energy first and that is being well with yourself this is someone who has finally you know um learned to make themselves a priority someone who has learned to accept to put themselves first to heal and um you can't just jump from the five of cups to the ten of cups out of the blue you know um <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm really sorry what I'm gonna say, okay? But I just said, I just heard in a joking uh, voice inside of my mind, and this is usually how I channel energy. Uh, the only way that you can reach from the five of cups to the 10 of cups is if you take some really strong medication or drugs, you know? And that was something or someone joking, you know? Obviously, it doesn't work that way, right? Um, and that is a warning for some of you to please uh, don't rely on antidepressants, medication. I mean, it's not that I'm not I'm not saying not to take them. Okay, um, maybe if you have gone to therapy, uh, yes, but don't just rely on them to make you feel better. Um, still you have to do a lot of inner work with yourself and you're gonna have to really sit with yourself and really really gonna have to be true and, ex and accept something and make peace with it because um, that's that's where the true healing comes uh, please also watch you know maybe using substances or maybe even liquor or alcohol to to override something that you're meant to deal with, that you're you're meant to confront and heal, so that then you can finally reach this ten of cup energy. But you have to do this process mostly on your own. Obviously, you can have support with some type of therapy, with some type of medication, if it's the case. Sometimes you know, not everybody can heal. Antidepressants is always an option, but don't just rely on that, okay? Try to try to be as balanced as you can. If you have to take some type of medication to get out, get yourself out of a really, you know, a depressive state, but also you have to put the work, okay? Like I said, don't just rely on the medications. Okay, I don't know why, uh, you know, I, I just feel that for some for some of you or for someone out there, okay? Um, I know it's not it's not easy to, to heal this and get yourself out of this, especially when you feel all alone, you know? But it's about raising your vibration and getting yourself out, out, out of this. You can do it, Aries. You really can. But... To do that, you just have to first stop focusing on what has been lost, on the past, on what caused this heartache, on what caused the hurt, okay? And try to start taking new opportunities in your life. You can't just stand there looking at what cannot be re regained or you just can't recuperate this anymore. It's gone. Okay? 
below you in your subconscious mind you've got the five of swords which is you know this is about it's like dropping your swords giving up walking away and i really think that you're meant to somehow it is about giving up but it's not giving up in a bad sense it's giving up on the situation that you're on you know i think you have to understand that the situation that you're on it's 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 a very hopeless situation um i think you're not meant to deal with this anymore you're meant to just drop your swords and say you know um i'm done with this i don't want to do deal with this i don't have to deal with this anymore it's a very low vibrational energy because both are fives okay and yeah you're gonna have to raise your vibration i think you know that if you are conscious about that ten of cups and you know you have to do some type of work i hope you do okay and like i said i just hope you don't rely on something to help i mean just to do the whole work for you you know you you have to put some of this work on your own that's the only way that you're going to truly heal our bodies become chemically imbalanced and that's what we have to you know even maybe your diet something might help you it's gonna be have you have to start changing things within yourself within your environment because if not you're just gonna stay trapped in this uh, loop I'm very dark place just you know and it's gonna become it's gonna get harder for you to break free from this it's gonna become a or it could be becoming a very toxic cycle for you now and you're meant to just you know say screw this I, I, I have to stop uh, I don't have to deal with this I don't have to put up with this I have to give I must drop my swords and walk away you know giving up it's not about giving up necessarily or that you have been somehow you know um, it's like not losing a battle or anything like that it's just about walking away from something and not paying any more attention to it now behind you yeah, we've got the lovers which is gemini card this could be the energy that's in your past or the reason why you're going through this and i think it's the reason why you're going through this uh this is to find some type of balance and healing you know aries i think you are somehow being divinely guided to to find yourself and to get you out of the situation so that you can come into union with something that's more divinely meant for you i don't know what situation you dealt i mean it could most for you it could have been a relationship but it doesn't have to it could even be a job environment or whatever but you're meant to you know you really are meant to leave this behind and to come into union with something more divinely meant for you something more balanced and i think you're being divinely guided to do this but you have to let go you have to stop focusing on the past or on what has been lost or how things have turned out for you okay you are meant to find uh, yourself in this darkness this is part of the reason why you're in this situation and that's the part that you're gonna have to learn to embrace you know you're gonna have to start saying well okay i'm inside of this pit you know but there's a reason for, for me to be here i'm alone i'm in the dark and i'm in pain some of you might be confused and scared but it's part of your journey so that you can finally find yourself find answers and become uh, try to balance yourself okay so there is something divine about this 
And I know you might be asking yourself, well, how can it be so divine if it, if it hurts so much? Well, that's sometimes how it works. Sometimes the most beautiful gifts in life are the most painful ones. And if we make good use of these gifts, that's where we grow. And the lover's card talks about that. It's about some type of growth here, some type of balance, some type of union. Okay. Uh, this was meant for you to be part of your growth. But now it's time for you to get yourself. You see, you were put in this pit so then you could learn to get yourself out of it. This is where you become stronger and you become more aware of what you're capable of and who you truly are and what you can do. You know? This is where you're headed to or where you should headed, be headed to or near future, Wheel of Fortune. Things are, you know, it's, that reinforces exactly what I just said. It is just destiny trying to bring you the best for you. There is something destined for you. You know, I do believe that destiny is always somehow already in a way, you know, every, destiny is all, everything is destined in our lives. But we do have freedom. We do have a choice to change things. Um, and divine is really t telling you, you know, that there is something divinely meant for you. I have this behind you and in front of you. There is these changes for the better, for the good, but it's up to you. And this is where the, you know, this is where the, it's up to you. Do you want things to change for the better? It's not going to be in this, in this space where you're at. If you're always focusing on those three cups, which are also those three swords, it's that pain. Trying to figure out what happened, why everything worked out the way it did, you know. You can stay stuck for the rest of your life just in that energy. And I sort of got that you won't even notice when, how time will quickly pass you by. Because it's, it's, it's trap. And it's not the best trap. It can become a very, very, very dangerous trap. You have to get yourself out of it, okay? But you were meant to be placed in this so that you could get yourself out of it and see how capable you are. And once you do that, then there's these big, big amazing changes waiting for you, for the better. But it's up to you, Aries, okay? You're constantly thinking about this. You can have it, but not here. You have to get yourself out of this so you can achieve that Ten of Cup energy. Okay, this is how you should see yourself or respond to situations in Seven of Wands. You have to fight back, you have to stay strong, you have to be bold, assertive. Okay, Aries, this is also about raising your vibration and being in a higher ground and not allowing anything to drag you down. This is you finally getting out of that pit and fighting back. You know, see all those wands be below you, try to pull you down to their level. Trying to poke at you, testing you, you know, be strong, stay strong, fight back and fight for what you believe in. Fight for what you believe in, Aries, please. It's very important that you do that and you will succeed. Don't give up on yourself. Give up on the situation, okay? Maybe that's also in a way what they're telling you here, you know, don't give up on yourself. But do give up on the situation. Give up on this. Stop feeding this negative energy. Walk away from it. Okay? But don't walk away from yourself. You see how it works? And that's because you're, you have to start putting yourself first. The energy that's surrounding you, influence you, inspires temperance. That's Sagittarius energy. And Aries, this is about healing staying focused, becoming more balanced. This is personal and spiritual growth at its best. This is ascension. This is you becoming stronger. That's why it's temperance. It's the way we temper a sword is by, 
you know, putting it through a lot of stress, heat and cold, heat and cold, heat and cold. That's tempering the sword. This is what the situation was meant for you. To make you stronger, to make you more divinely to ascend. Okay. It's part of your spiritual growth and personal growth. Stay focused and purge. It's also about purging. Okay, that's why you're doing this with your energy. You know, this, uh, who said this saying? Bernard Shaw? Uh, yeah. Uh, get rid of the skeletons in your closet, and if you can't, then teach them how to dance. That's how making peace with, somehow, with your whatever it is that you're going through, but uh, yeah, this is you performing your magic and making peace and staying balanced. And your hopes and fears, you've got the Knight of Wands. That's your energy, that's fire energy. A very playful energy. Oh, it could mean that maybe I think somehow I know you you know the funk that you're in right now and you don't want to lose your spark you don't want to be in this energy anymore you, you're showing me that because crowning you, you've got this that's in your conscious mind this is always in your mind you want to you really want to be in a higher vibrational place and feeling good with yourself and you're hoping that maybe you know it's like trying not to lose your mojo, trying to not lose your spark in life, you know, trying to maintain that playfulness, you know, well, it's, I think it's, it's up to you. What decision are you going to make? Are you going to stay stuck just thinking about the past or are you going to, you know, finally say, you know what, screw this. And I think I'm ready for a new beginning and I'm going to take a new opportunity in my life now. I need a fresh new beginning. You have to heal. This is the outcome or the advice. First, it all comes with healing. The Queen of Cups talks about learning how to heal. This is her sitting with her emotions and finally, finally addressing her emotions. And you see how she's got a lid in her cup? She's the only one that has a lid in her cup. Of all the cups in the whole deck, she's the only one that has a lid in it. And there's a reason for this. One, because she knows her worth. She's starting to learn how to protect more of her emotions. She's healing them. She's not allowing anything to, you know, emotional, to tamper her emotions to, you know. And this is her finally, I guess, you know, observing and seeing, appreciating her value at an emotional level, mostly. But it's all about healing. It's all what I said at the beginning about you healing. Don't rely on other things only. You have to put your part. You have to put this in your work to get yourself out of this, okay? And if you think you need to talk to someone, if you think you need therapy, Aries, please do it, okay? Sometimes we can't heal on our own. It's very difficult. All we need is just a little roadmap to get ourselves out of the situation where we're at. Then we start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and we say, oh, okay, I'm starting to see some clearance here. I have some type of faith, hope, you know. It's time to move on and leave something behind to be true to yourself and put yourself on the right track. That's the six of swords. And I understand, you know, their head's hanging low. And that's a sign of, you know, like there is some type of remorse or guilt or pain or of walking away from something, but it has to be done. There's, some, there's something new for you here. Something more promising, more stable. It's a new beginning. Like I said, the choice is yours. Five of Pentacles. That's the other five, you know. That's that low vibrational energy. You have to get yourself out of this low vibrational energy. But you have to keep moving. You have to start moving. The worst thing you can do in this environment, in the cold and the weather, is to stop. Because that's when people, well, they freeze to death, they die. 
the only way to keep alive is by keep moving. I know your journey is not easy right now, but the worst thing you can do is just stay stuck and not do, not take any action. It's time for you to just, you know, be strong, be bold, fight, fight for what you believe in. If you don't have anything to believe in, to fight for, make something up, please. Try to, a small desire, a small wish, that's all you need. There's something better for you and you can manifest it. But you're not going to be able to manifest anything in this energy. Okay. Okay, let's get additional messages, advice or warnings from this other deck. As usual, just in case I'm missing something, Aries. Aries, there's a lot of deep work you have to do on yourself. A lot of healing. You can do it. Just something very promising for you. Okay. Victory. Six of Wands. What messages do you have for Aries, please? Anything else? Thank you. What other messages do you have for Aries? Regarding the stream situation, please. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Got the page of swords in the bottom of the deck. This is about, you know, Aries, you have to be true to yourself. I think some of you are having a hard time wanting to accept something. And pages are usually about, you know, having to learn to see the truth about something and dealing with it. You know, it's time to learn how to do that. Okay? Okay, five, seven, six, seven. Okay, so I got the five of wands. That's another five. So that's another low vibrational energy. Okay? It's this conflict, this drama. Um, it's time for you to just avoid this at all costs. If you are presented with this in the situation that you're in, uh, it's time to just dodge and, and, and dodge. Maybe some of you dodged something. Okay, and maybe that's why the reason of, of maybe whatever happened it was meant to protect you. Remember that sometimes uh, Rejection is protection if that would apply for any one of you. Now I got the Seven of Swords. You know, I, this really talks about just gathering your swords and, and moving on. Walking away, sneaking away if you have to. Okay? But take your swords and just move on. And don't look back. Now I got the Lover's card, which was the card I flew out first and caught my attention when I was shuffling this deck. You are meant to be in another situation, Aries. You're meant to... You know, love, self-love is very important, but you have to understand that it's about finding yourself again. Don't give up on yourself, okay? And then I got the chariot, with, which is Cancerian energy, and uh, now it's time for you to start moving, Aries. It's time for you to get on track and to do it rather confidently. And like I said, just start moving and don't look back. There's no need to stop and keep looking at that. I think you've been looking at this for too long already. And you're getting stuck. Or you're, you're, you're staying stuck. Okay. Okay, let's close your reading with the uh, Spirit of the Animal Oracle deck. And uh, whatever message, remember... Um, doesn't have to be related or correlated with the reading in any way, shape, or form. Maybe the animal may mean something to you at some point. Okay, just take it as as the best advice in your journey. Okay. Okay, give me a minute, just one more here. And if not, I'll pull it out. Okay, 
Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Here is you got the peacock, which is vibrancy. Okay. And the peacock says that you were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. And be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. You know, Aries, I, th I really think that that's part of the problem here. Because you are so focused on all this. You really are forgetting. You're putting yourself very, very aside. And I think you have forgotten who you are, man. You know, who you are, what you're meant to do. I mean, there's something better for you, but uh, you have to raise your vibration here. You have to heal, and uh, you have to find yourself and get yourself out of this. You can do it. Undoubtedly, you can do it. I just think that some of you have gotten a little too comfortable where you're at. and uh, But it's not that comfortable after all. Okay? Aries, this is the best I can do for you. I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And uh, if this reading help, that does help you, um, or if you do enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would surely, truly appreciate it very much. And Aries, as usual, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye.